Hey, I'm Daniel Norton here in my studio in New York City with Marissa and Sharina. And we're gonna do a double portrait. Ha! Two for the price of one. <laughs> so for this shot, I want to do something a little bit different, a little bit funky. Uh, you know, people always ask me about shooting groups and uh, probably what you want is this big flat light, right? That's what you often use when you shoot groups, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna shoot it a little bit more kind of dramatic. Maybe it's for uh, a movie poster or, or an album. Maybe they're gonna put out an album. Al see what are albums? The no, drop, the drop in wax, drop, dropping it on wax, is that how you say it? They're doing it, you know what I'm saying. Vinyl, right? So we're basically gonna shoot them with a little bit of mood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna light each one of them individually with a hard light source, punchy light to create a lot of contrast. And then we're gonna use the soft box right here to kind of fill in our shadows, right? Because it's just not practical to use, let's say a reflector at that point when using such a small source. We've talked about this before. So I've got actually two lights. I've got a, uh, they're both uh, Profoto B2 basically with two heads. I've got the 20 degree grids in them. So each one's going to shine individually on our subject. So I'll do one at a time to show you guys. So number one, of course, as always, we're set so that the exposure in the room is a black frame, you know, uh, at F8, 1 one sixty of the second, 100 ISO, you really don't see anything uh, but our light. So I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna start in TTL. There's gonna be a lot of adjusting here. When you're using uh, small, tight light sources like this, you're gonna always wanna be doing adjustments. Now, uh, I'll just, uh, I'm looking at my lights. This one here is, uh, the B light is Sharina. So I'm gonna only have the B light on. So I'm turning off the others. So B is on, I'm in TTL, and we're gonna make an exposure. Boom. Right, that should be just a shadowy light on her. You can see that, I mean, some light oh, got on. Light on. <laughs> Your light did not go on, but her light spills onto you a little bit. <laughs> so we can see here that <laughs> we've got beautiful light on, on Sharina, and then some of the light falls off onto, uh, <laughs> onto Marissa, right? So, yeah, I'm okay, so, game. and there we go. <laughs> so that's that light. Um, <laughs> let's take that light and turn it off. And then I'm gonna turn on the A light, which is Marissa's light, and we'll just photograph her. Cool. You know, and again, the primary light here uh, on Marissa creates that nice kind of punchy uh, hard light, but still some of the light fills in. That's gonna be our shadow base, right? So when we put both lights up, that's A and B. And we fire them. Let's see what we got. There we go, right? We've got essentially hard light that is giving lots of shape and texture, but kind of filled in, right? And now we can adjust our exposure. I actually think I'm gonna feather this one off. I feel like the light that's on Marissa is actually hitting Sharina too much. So I think I'm gonna feather it a bit this way. Feather. We're gonna feather. My Massachusetts coming out. We got a fat diet. There we go. So the light on Marissa stays, you know, more or less the same, but uh, on Sharina it's less filled in, right? Because I, I want that, that shadowy area. Now we can see our exposure is not perfect either, right? Thus is the nature of TTL and using grids. Um, I, I enjoy the shadows on the background. We've got this kind of like odd shape back there. If you didn't like that, then of course you could just move them further from the background or light it or whatever you want to do. Uh, let's see, I said that Marissa was A, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to A and we're gonna turn her down. Well, let me grab my slider over here and capture one. And we're gonna slide it down oops, until Marissa looks about right, which is there, it's about half a stop. And let's take a shot. There we go. That looks good. She's looking good. Now we're gonna look at that and we're gonna look at Sharina who looks a little bit dark and we're gonna grab her slider to about right there. That's about half a stop as well. So she's in the B group. I'm gonna turn that one up, half a stop. Now remember they're overlapping so this is not perfect. We're gonna have to tweak a little bit. No, it's actually pretty good. I take it back, it is perfect. Now we've got nice, beautiful light on, on Sharina. We've got nice, beautiful light on Marissa, uh, you know, highlighting each of them separately. And then we're going to turn around and we're gonna fill in a little bit to bring the shadows up a smidge. What, the only thing I might do, uh -oh. I feel like there's a little bit, I know, last minute change. 
I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit. The reason why I'm doing that is because um, I think it's just aimed a little bit low and we're getting a bright spot on Marissa's body. There we go. There we go. Made all the difference in the world. See that? A little bit. Now everybody looks good. Perfect. Perfect. This light here is in my C group. It's in a soft box. Two foot by three foot soft box. We're gonna turn this one on. I'm gonna turn off the other two lights. I'm gonna put the C light, which is this guy in TTL, and I'm gonna take a shot and it's gonna be boring and dumb. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. That's our shadow, right? I think it's too bright for our shadows. So I'm gonna actually switch to manual, go to the C group, I'm gonna turn it down to stop. And then I'm gonna turn A and B back on. And that is going to give us all of our lights firing now. And we'll see what we get and we can start rocking it. And there we go, right? We've got everything looking good. Shadows are filled in. Our two subjects look good. Looks a little soft. You look a little soft. I'm gonna split my focus. They're not exactly on the same plane of focus. So I'm gonna watch that tighter. I mean, I'm at F8, but, okay, here we go. Make sure we're good, and then we'll rock out. I like how that earring is catching us a little bit of light. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yep, you guys are sharp. Everything looks nice. Rock and roll. So we're gonna work a mood. We're gonna be moody for the first ones. Good. When you're doing groups, especially, you want to set like a little bit of a mood, because if you don't, then you'll get one person acting one way, one person acting the other. <laughs> but then they get smiles, so, and we can both smile. See, so, we got them both to smile. There we go. We can be a little bit more sassy. Sassy. <laughs> That's. Hold on. Let's pause for that sass. That's sassy. That's sassy. You said sassy. <laughs> Let's pause for the sass. Okay, that was good. Hold on. Uh, hmm. I feel like you may have slid back a little bit, Sharina. Me? Yeah. Like I went back? Like yep, like back. further back. Yep, sure, I know you're light. So we really got to keep an eye on that because with this light, because it's very tight. Yeah, there we go. Beauteous. Good, good, good. Sassy. Put in place. Good. Yeah, good. That's nice. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't help but <laughs> And we just shoot some fun shots. All right, so let's end with a good, like, moody. This is like a moody shot, so let's end with a good moody one. Good moody shot. Yeah, a good moody one. Maybe like... Oh, yeah, like that. Boom. Oh, there yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can do the you got to do the fingers? That's pretty good. That's pretty... Ex oh, okay. Well, like, we're going to do doubles. We're going to do Charlie's Angels. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We got a little Charlie's Angel action. Oh, and I like the little... The shadows on the wall. Oh, that is... Pretty That's actually pretty cool. And again, if you didn't like the shadows, uh, again, you would just move them off the wall. I kind of like how it creates that shape back there, though. You know, shadows can be just a really interesting part of your composition, whether they be on the person's face or on the background, or people even casting shadows onto each other can be really interesting, as long as you're playing around with it. Lots of different things you can play with with shadows, using hard light, filling it in, and just creating unique shots. So I will put Marissa's and Sharina's information in the description. You guys can follow them. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. Subscribe to Adorama TV and ring the bell. That way you get all the notifications. And I'll see you next time on set.